Hi, I'm Grace. I'm one of the students on the first cohort of the MSc Science Communication here at UCL. Hi, I'm Laura. So I did my undergrad in zoology. And hello, my name is Megan. I also did a biomed undergraduate degree. What drew me to this course in particular, like it sounds cheesy, but like to use it as a vessel to make a difference. I was really intrigued when I saw modules such as science communication, social justice, engaging the public with science. So it didn't just have the practical, it looked at everything and how to take those skills into the real world. I wanted to come to this course because I wanted to live in London. And then I also saw the lineup of practitioners that were going to be teaching us. So Helen from Nature, Noah Baker from Nature and also Richard Fisher from BBC. I think for me I definitely came in with the mindset of I'm definitely here to like you know focus on the practical side, I know that I want to go into journalism that sort of thing but actually the other side of the course, the other half of the course, the academic side, I have really enjoyed that as well and that has taken me by surprise. It's been really interesting to delve deeper into like controversial issues, anti-vaccination and climate change and conspiracy theories and that sort of thing has been really interesting. You know, we are three people who came from a science degree, but there are a lot of people on our course that didn't do a science degree. We've got people who have done English literature degrees, philosophy degrees, psychology, psychology. Well, actually, I think that's such a, a benefit to the course as well, because someone who's done yeah, a, a different, basically not a science degree, is always going to have a different view. I think that's what makes it like a much interesting discussion. I think what surprised me as well is how much I actually spoke in class, like for the discussions <laughs> yeah. and stuff. It's such a friendly atmosphere. Like you, you feel like you want to speak and you want to hear other people's perspectives, and that's nice. I think for me, like genuinely as well, the the staff are really supportive and really willing to help. Like if you ask for more support on an essay, an assignment, they're really willing to like have office hours with you. You know, they're there to help you. They're not just there to teach you and then send you off into the world. Yeah, you know, just like even bumping into them in the, in the hallway. Everyone that says like hello and stuff and that's just yeah. like kind of adds a bit more. Yeah, mm. it makes you feel like you, you want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're quite lucky, like obviously one of the big selling points for any London uni is like Central you're in London. London. Yeah. Um, but UCL really is right smack bang, central London. And I think that's really helpful for us on the science communication course because we can really supplement our teaching by like exploring museums. There's a welcome collection literally right around the corner where we can, you know, make the most of being in a city with so much to offer in terms of science. And in terms of this STS department as well, I've really liked you have a common room for students that can meet up. So it's like, it's really nice because quite often after lectures, we'll all come up for lunch there or we'll study together, even though London is such this big place that there's an effort to make these community spaces where you can all come together. I think I've really enjoyed that. It's been a great way to get to know people on the course. Oh, shut it, <laughs> <laughs> it helps to feel slightly less lonely. <laughs>